Can we uh can we talk about some current events real quick? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Two different ones I got on my on my mind. The first one is the fucking Super Bowl that's going to happen soon. Can we Ravens, talk about go Ravens, it? go Ravens. They no, haven't we played have, yet. We have a can really I, crazy two games Chiefs. coming up. I, I, yummy, I'm Ravens yummy all the way. Tanner heard me say this. They've heard, they've heard me bitch about it for so long, but I just got to put it out in the public just in case I'm right. If Travis Kelsey, the, the Chiefs, goat is if back. they win, we hold the Ravens. Yeah, I'm just saying if the if the Chiefs win, or if, is it 49ers? Chiefs? What is it? Which one is it? Chiefs, right? Chiefs. If the so wait, Chiefs we have, win, we have two games coming up. We have we right, have the you, Chiefs v Ravens, and we have 49ers v Lions versus the Lions. Yes, yes. I'm 49ers saying are gonna win, after that, Ravens are going to win. Ravens are going to win. If the Ravens don't win, and then and then the Chiefs make it to the Super Bowl, and then again they win again, and Travis Kelsey has back to back to back best games, I think it was a plot scripted by the NFL that. Well, that's what everyone Taylor is Swift right now. Right, he's gonna come down on a big platform. Don't you think that it's a plot to get more women to like like the NFL so they get more viewers? Yeah, (laughs) it's crazy. Dude, we've uh, they've it's, been it's you know been on like, ticket sales went up like thirty five percent like yeah and so the their viewers since two thousand eighteen <clears throat> they've been on a decline they've always been on an incline every single year every it's average because, was an incline it, I'm gonna be real it's I don't think it's a lack of uh, interest or viewership I think it's because of an increase in cracked streams and redistribution of Maybe. like legal broadcasting probably yeah, yeah people like Guitar that Hero that and watching it <laughs> I mean Do I'm gonna be real. I wasn't like the biggest fan of the Super Bowl back when COVID was happening up and, and a lot of other people weren't. That's when they were down. It's a, a new generation. New, so like finally, and I'm seeing it both in the NBA and the NFL there, there was like a gap where, you know, it's like the end of a legacy, like, you know, dying out of like all the superstars in the leagues. Uh-huh. Uh, but now there's like a bright future for both NFL and NBA. That's you know, we have to build up hype for Travis Kelsey to, I don't know. There needs a lot. Of, there's Rogers like a lot of context day. that gets people involved in the sports. And a lot of it has to do with like rivalry. It has to do with people like starting to break records and shit like that. Right. So there's a lot of that that's happening in the NBA right now. That's like yeah. super All interesting I'm to gonna watch. All I'm going to say about the whole thing is that if the Chiefs do win, it, it might be it might be rigged. I don't know. I think, it seems I think, like I think that it's I rigged. That. I, th- I think it's, it's rigged. They, think the the NFL has poured in. Think about Taylor Swift and how much money she made just from touring. Billion dollars. Oh my god. Yeah. And now think about million. how often she's at these NFL games and how often their propaganda of have being in a relationship with Travis Kelsey is. The NFL has dumped in too much Isaac. money for them not to get a dub. Dude, Isaac, I was we were, so we were watching right. We were just watching the game and randomly there was like an interview happening i think it was, i think it was a mid interview with mahomes at the very end of the game and they just randomly zoomed in on taylor swift's like reaction they're gonna do that or they randomly zoomed in and like go from from tra- like whatever kelsey oh my god and then, and then taylor. over to taylor swift to show her i was like oh my god they it's know they're, obviously they know it is shameless yeah everyone's aware but like i well, think I mean, at the end of the day with the way that the uh the chiefs and bills game was officiated it didn't really seem rigged i'll be real like neither team was getting a lot of calls it was a pretty even game yeah i think they I just the won bills like, straight great. up i heard the i've heard petty eh, games nah and shit. nah bills played pretty but josh allen played great but like, his allen, receivers were I mean, like they had broken hands like Diggs was butt <laughs> Diggs was so butt. i don't even know who that is but Dude, he was he. There was like one really long throw. It had to be a yeah, fifty like yard, a, sixty yeah. yard throw. And yeah, it was he, crazy. he had it in his hand. It just fell right through. It was like sponsored by oh, fingers, bro. It was crazy. I think that would have won the game. <sighs> um, I like how it was just so. poop cast in football today. Yeah, all I know poop-cast is that if football. I if I was like thirteen, I'd be eating this shit up. So I think it's working. Whatever. They're dude, doing. you know what? I had an I had an epiphany at one point where I got really sad and I was like, damn, dude, like. When I was like uh, 10, 11, 12, I knew, I knew like every player's name in the NBA and I was so invested in everyone. And I knew like even the role players, like sixth men, like everyone, like in the whole league. And then I was Did like- you used to pretend that you were LeBron growing up? Sports nerd. Nah, I was Kobe, bro. I was Kobe all day. I hated LeBron growing up. Why? Because uh, he was like, he was How a little bitch. The coat? And Kobe was better, and everybody was like, "Is LeBum?" So he was, so he was LeBum. He was LeBum. LeBum, LeBum to you. He didn't even have LeBum status yet. He was just fucking trash. (laughs) LeBum, damn. Was he even good back then, though? Like he was good. Yeah, yeah, he was good, but like he got Kobe comparisons way too early. But he, yeah, no, I mean, he ultimately had a better career than Kobe for sure at this point. Jordan. But but regardless, it. I was like, damn, I need to get invested into sports again because it is so much fun and so interesting. And I know people who do like. $5 sports bets just to like have more interest in the game. Mm-hmm. 
<clears throat> because well, it I'll makes the stakes a little bit higher. Because I never do got think... fully into it. I don't. I mean, I never had a start. I did have a start, but I never got fully into it because it was just. I only got right. into like WWE. Do you know what I want to do? Is is uh yeah. put like I want to put like fifty bucks on a game and go down to San Antonio and watch uh, Victor Wimbanyama play because he's a he's a freak. He's a <laughs> freak. Name. Do you do you think that sports betting ruined or helped, or do you think it was like a double edged sword? Do you think that in one way? It, it it like allowed for people to be interested but on the other it opened the potential for more rigging to happen like what do you think do you think that sports betting that's what it takes for you impact? to be interested in sports and i got bad news <clears throat> um <clears throat> well i mean for some people it, that's all it takes you know like they have a little bit of risk involved like i'll watch this game and then and it's just it's more exciting it makes them. it more exciting for sure mm -hmm. i think that like if you go into gambling with the expectation of winning, period, you're, it's your fault if you're mad when you lose, if it's rigged or whatever. Like you, well, you should never go in thinking, "Oh, I'm gonna win big." I'm, I'm even talking about bigger picture, like um, <clears throat> undisclosed. Like you remember, okay, so like for example, years and years ago, it was um, it was I buy power, right? I buy mm -hmm. power in Counter Strike, for example. They threw a game because the odds of them winning were so high, but Whoa. they bet on the other team. They had, uh -huh. they had. It was so it, like they actually just threw the game. That's why they got kicked That's out. Insane. And so and so here's because, the thing: players can't do that, but I believe referees can. Referees I don't think, can. Yeah, I don't think players can really do that. Have there been like, like without uh, it looking really obvious? Have there have there been instances of like referees being really obvious about the fact that? They've yeah, dude. So probably. there was a game uh, less than a month ago. I think it was the Lakers versus the Raptors. I believe. And in the fourth quarter, the Lakers had like 20 something free throws. And I think the Raptors only had two, which is like a 20 point swing is insane. Just off like fouls, foul calls. Like, you, yeah. like as a referee, your job is to try to keep the game like evenly officiated on both sides. So like there's like 50, 50 calls where like you're not sure like exactly who the ball went out of bounds on. Like your initial call needs to be like, I need to keep this game balanced somewhat mm -hmm. unless mm -hmm. it's obvious or if the replay shows blah, 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 whatever. It makes it harder in the NBA, but especially with fouls, you got to keep that shit even. So like twenty to two, that's that's at that point that's rigging in my opinion for sure. Right. It's so hard. I feel like nowadays for somebody <laughs> to like rig it, especially with all the technology and all the angles and who's watching yeah. it all too. But, right. You know, it do, it does make it still puts into question. They need to put a little least. iPhone in the ball that records everything. <laughs> And you like see LeBron like right here, he's going up for dunk. Yeah. He's, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like coming closer and further away. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's like the next chapter of Mike Dub. It's like ball ball cam. <laughs> ball, ball, <laughs> ball, ball cam. Ball cam. cam. Ball cam. Ball cam, but VR. You get to live watch the games in VR. Oh, you get you're the basketball. That would be so boing, cool. Boing. I would, Dude, I would actually everywhere, everywhere <laughs> I'd puke. Oh, Larry, should, I'm going to mention it. Yesterday I made, and this is not the main topic that I wanted to talk about as well. I was going to talk about Pal World, but like oh. I'll mention something first. Um, yesterday, Larry called me a bitch if I didn't buy something, and you I asked bought him to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> said, "Call me a bitch, man. Call me a bitch." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 You're like, okay, yeah. Listen, well, okay, look okay, at that. All right, you, all right, you, you got me. I, okay, because I asked, I, I said, uh, "What'll make?" Okay, this all, this is all leading up, but yeah, yeah. what'll make you just do it? Yeah, yeah. I said, uh, "What'll make you do it?" You're like, I don't know. Someone call me a bitch. I was like, "All right, bitch, come on, go buy then." <laughs> and and I, uh, I pressed the buy button. But and what he bought yeah. was bought the Apple, the Apple Pro Vision, the the VR. Apple no way. Goggles. What can you really do with that, dude? I don't know. Like watch like porn in VR. Text your mom. Yeah. Watch porn. You should. You should send it. send one to text me. Text people. You say like let me, Apple. Let me change the text world real quick. Isaac. I'm pretty sure you can up. use your hands. Like yeah, you just yeah, have a keyboard is. like this. So it's oh, weird. So it's like it's, it's really weird because like, the way it doesn't, it doesn't have a controller. So the way you like interact, you know, how you have a controller. You press a button. <laughs> you have your to. You have, you have to. You have to. You look at things. Thanks, guys. Learn. Also, yeah, bless you. You look at something and then you tap your fingers like that and then it selects it. Oh my and god! Then, oh my god! The memes of us going like this and like going that's like real. This are yeah, come to that's real. That's gonna technically. Come to life. Wait, wait one second. Like they, they were showing the preview and to see to make like let's say you're watching a movie and you want to make the screen bigger, you have to yeah. pinch the corner and move it down. It's wait, crazy. I saw somebody have glasses that played a movie. Uh, I think it was from Sony, and it literally looked like a full like theater screen. Oh. When does it in come out? the glasses? Out? When do you come, get it? Comes out like well, I get it in a month. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah I pre. Oh, can I come over? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to do a vlog with it. Like, oh, I want to see. Right. I want to go out to like a mall with it and see like the looks okay, that we get. But dude, dude, dude I don't, would you feel, really do that? Doesn't it feel weird yeah. how Apple is like dropping it? I worked it? out in this. 
Oh, hell no. <laughs> I don't care. Doesn't it feel weird how Apple's dropping it like really like they, I don't know how to put into words where soon. it feels weird. Yeah, it feels like way so soon. Like way, like I feel like it just premiered. They just yeah, showed they, they There's just, not they even like a, it. I mean, like, I did, like, I don't know, dude. They were dude. talking about like, this is it, the future. Dude. Welcome to it. And then yeah, they're like, exactly. Be, two weeks later, they're like, listen, pre-order now. It all I'm going to say days. is if they steal my face shit, I really don't care. Like, it's just another me in this world, I guess. I mean, well, it's either good or bad. People already still. have our face shit. They do. Dude, 23 uh, yeah. and me. Yeah. Fucking How about sucks. face ID for starters? You have to, like, send them a 3D scale of your face. You do. Yeah. You have to send them a fingerprint of your finger on the iPhone 5. What, what were the requirements, Nick, before you bought it that they asked of you? Your blood type, oh, uh, your weight, your height. <laughs> so I, I go on to Google Chrome, and then it says that I have to... Go on to Safari. So once he, I go on to Safari, the he looked at the price. Look at him. They they tell me no. that. Oh, what's that? Nothing. I got jump scared by the loudest audio of all time. You're good. Okay. <laughs> oh, my bad. Uh, so just... after I go on to Safari, they tell me that I have to download the app or update my Apple Store app. So after I do that, then I'm able to start the process, and it I have to like do this whole face scanning thing like once and then twice. Uh, they measure the shape of your head. Right. They ask if you have any prescription glasses or no prescription at all, whatever. Wow. And then after that, because they will get lenses inside of it, wow. like prescription for no you, because you can't wear it with glasses. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, and then after that, because you know, think about it. You're supposed to see the outside world a as well. True. Like, what if your prescription yeah. changes though? Then your bones. Uh, like that's a good point. Bone. Your bones. <laughs> I don't bone. know. If I'd imagine it's something they can remove and replace pretty easily. Yeah, I would imagine that too. And also, I didn't buy Apple Care. So it was five hundred dollars. No, know you did not. You dude, I what? Did not, girl, I did not. I know. What? Girl, <laughs> you are mischievous girl. AF. <laughs> girl, girl, you dumb AF. What do you do? You, you live in a house with five guys. You throw basketballs. Guys. Guys. In a house crazy scale. Give me a burger. Cook Give me a burger. Give me a burger. Give me a burger. Give me a burger. Fries. Fries. Fries.